Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you lymphatic massage for the face. I'm going to be working the neck area and the facial area, reducing those toxins and waste within the lymphatic system to help with glowing skin. So what I like to do first is to sit down with my feet firmly on the ground, back nice and straight and shoulders nice and relaxed. Just quickly going to tie my hair back. Now I do have clean face, so you don't want any products on your face. So as you can see, nothing on my skin whatsoever. So clean face, clean fingers. I am going to use some form of slip. So we are actually gliding and sliding along the face rather than compromising the skin. You really don't want to be dragging and pulling. So I've got some rosehip oil here. Now you can use another, obviously another facial oil, or even if you've got a face cream, just something which we can actually apply to the skin. And obviously whatever you apply on the skin, it's going to seep into the skin as well. So we just rub it into the fingers first, and we're just gently going to apply along the neck and the collarbone area and the face, all parts. Now I'm going to start with the collarbone here. With my fingers, I'm just going to sweep from under the collarbone towards my armpit. Now the lymph is quite close to the surface of the skin, so you don't need to be too heavy handed. It's quite a light touch. And then to the other side, again to the armpits. Now we're going to come along here. Now we have some real strong muscles at the side of the neck here and lots of lymph actually transports backwards and forwards from this area. So first of all, I'm just going to very lightly massage in an upwards motion from the collarbone to the ear. You can do this slow and mindfully and you can do these as many times in the day as you like. I do like to do this particularly in the morning for me, as I do find, you know, sitting and sleep, sleeping in the evening, things can get a bit puffy and congested. And then we'll just work along, just in the way, just up very lightly, and then to the other large muscle from the collarbone. Now you can go even lighter. And if you do have long nails, you can always just use your knuckles. Now we have lots of lymph nodes down under the jawline and if they get a bit congested we can end up with a bit of a, a double chin and a bit of slacking. So I'm going to take my thumb and my finger, I'm placing my thumb under my chin, finger above and I'm just gently gliding all the way along, moving all that toxin and lymph Again, just go very lightly. And at this point, you may want to swallow as you can feel things moving within the system. We'll just do this a few more times. Now I'm just taking my fingers and I'm just gently massaging from my chin all the way to the ears, just lightly across the face, just moving any lymph here from the chin just this will really help with also elastin and collagen just boosting the elastin and collagen and then we'll just work on to the other side great if you have any nasal navial folds Now I'm just going to come to my nostrils here. I'm just gently going to massage either side of the nostril and then work under the nostril, under the, sorry, under the cheekbone to the ear. Now we, again, we have plenty of lymph nodes under the cheekbone. So again, we want to move the waste and the toxins from this area. I'm doing it with two hands, depending how much time you have. Another way is to actually just get both fingers and work one cheekbone 
at a time. So just working from the nostril to the ear. And then on the other side, So I'm just going to massage between the eyes now and then just drawing down from the side of the nose. This is great particularly if you have allergies or sinus or just getting over a cold. And just draw down and again then under the cheekbone to the ear so you can now draw down to the cheekbone, the nostrils, the cheekbone, and to the ear. So now I'm taking my fingers and I'm just working above the, almost from the third eye to the hairline in an upwards motion with my fingers. And again, just very, very lightly, helping with all those fine lines and wrinkles on the forehead. And back again and then just slightly again just glide feather like motion from the center to the temples not forgetting the hairline then I'm just taking my fingers and then just gliding from the side of my ears side of my neck down that large muscle down to the collarbone again just Gliding side of the ears down to the collarbone. Now I'm taking my fingers again under the chin, the rest of my fingers above, and then we're just gliding along the face very lightly, moving everything along to the ears. This is a great lower massage workout for the face. Again, you may want to swallow and then again massage the side of the ears and just glide down now we're going to massage the side of the ears and then we're going to work from the back of the ear just massaging lightly in round circular motions and then again glide down this large muscle let's do that again just coming along hair gets a bit crazy when you're doing this and then down the side of the ears, just glide down to the collarbone. Now I'm just again with my um, just under the collarbone here. We're just going to give this a few little, few little taps, and then just glide to the armpit again. And then from the ears, I'm just going to glide, start to glide along to the nape of the neck. If you have any little tender points, you can always give that a little massage, extra massage out, and then a glide down the side of the neck, down to the collarbone. And then from the chin all the way down, either side where we have our collarbone here, we have a couple of extra points. And I'm just going to give this a few gentle presses. Now this will actually release the toxins in the waist we've moved from the neck area and also the facial area into the body ready for elimination. Now I do have other playlists on lymphatic drainage massage, facial yoga and face massage if you'd like to look at those and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and for more hints and tips please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay bye.